I'm going to go through the Lynx uh, software, give you a basic overview. When you first open up Lynx, these boxes will be blank, these six uh, boxes. They'll be your mo uh, six most recent files. They've also got new open. This little news feed, it relates to software updates. It's just to communicate when we've updated, what it is, uh, give you a bit of basic overview. But it does give you the version of Lynx um, at the top. And if you're unsure of that, you can just go to help about links and it will tell you what version of links you do have and whether you do need an update. I've got my file open, my links training basic file. And as you can see, different files will tab at the top uh, so it's easier to flip between the two. I'm just going to show you some basic settings for link software. Go to tools, options. And what this will do, this will give us settings around background colours, pen colours, whether I want to link to uh, folder directories, maybe on a staff share drive. Other settings around page size, whether you want to use our default or whether you always want to work in A4 portrait landscape, font colors, uh, default fonts, etc. So you've got uh, font one, two, and three. So that could be for a paragraph, uh, title, date, keyword, etc. But with each of the settings, so if, for instance, if I select background. I, I've got a number of options that I can do here. I can use the six digit colour reference if I know that or I've got the slider that I can manipulate the colours or I can select from the lovely rainbow and then click apply and OK at that point but I'll come back to that later. So what we've got in the software we have icons at the top and we've got some tabs down the side Everything is in a drop down menu if you're ever unsure. And I'm currently working in what we like to refer to as preparation mode. But more and more teachers are staying in this mode and just shrinking, shrinking and enlarging the view to suit um, their needs. So I'm going to select the pen tool. Now, if I select the pen and click on the tools tab, if I slide this open, we've got a whole range of tool options with the pen. I've got color options, and as you can see, I've got a live preview. The, the colours 1 to 4 that I was talking to you about in the tools options, this is the C colours here. So what I could do, is if I'm always going to use the standard four colours, click this button here and all of those options go away and I'm left with my four default colours that we've set up in options. I'm just going to bring that back out. I have a slider to change the thickness. I can change the transparency, maybe for highlight purposes. I can change the style of that pen. And I've got a range of dotted lines that I could use if I wanted to. So I'm now going to select the pen, which is this icon here. It's just on the top toolbar. And what it then brings out is a set of tools. I've got a slider here that I can change that view when it's smaller or larger. And I've got a preview of my pen here, so I can select color. My C colors are here, are my custom colors that I set in the tools option setting. So if I've got those preset and I always want to use pink, blue, etc., I can press this little button here and it'll take all the other color options away and that's what I'm left with. Um, but I'm just gonna bring it back out. And what I've got, like I said, I've got my preview. I can change the size of that pen, so the thickness. I can change the style. So if I write on the board, I've got a nice style to the pen. I can just use the back of my hand to erase that. I don't need to select an eraser. I've got some other options of transparency, maybe as a highlighter purpose, and variations of dotted lines that I may want to use, etc. So I can obviously use the pen that comes with the board and write on the screen. I always write my name, not sure why. It's the one thing I do remember. And then what we've got here is some tools that we can use with the pen tool. The little uh, blue hand here is what is the software's mouse, so I can select the, the, uh, the text, the notes, and then I can change the size, rotate it just with two finger gesture, like we always use on our smartphones and tablets. Obviously I can use the tools here, the green circle will do the rotation and it will give me the degrees there, I'm not sure if you can see that. I can double tap, take it back to zero, and I can enlarge and shrink with the bottom right hand circle. What I've also got 
with these icons here is another set of tools. The R is for handwriting recognition. So I can write on the screen and it will convert it to text. And it will be the default text that I'll show you in a little while. I've got a little star that does shape recognition. It converts it to a shape for me. And I've got another maths recognition tool. So I'm not a maths teacher, but I will do a basic sum and I'm sure all the maths teachers out there will correct me. But it's going to convert my sum for me and it's going to give me a hidden answer that I can then press to reveal. Now obviously the teachers will know that answer but it's a, it's a tool for the children to come up, um, do a sum on the board and have an answer to check. You could even write over the top of that. And then let the children click to see if it's the right answer. The other tool I haven't spoken about is this little plus symbol. And this is what we refer to as, as an edit pen. So typically speaking, whatever I write is one object. If I want to treat those as separate letters, I just click on the plus first. And now if I write with this selected, these are separate um, objects, if you like, separate letters. And I can treat those as individuals, change the colors for those, I could even link it uh, to a website, potentially uh, phonic sounds, etc. Secondary schools may want to use it for, for maths, in terms of simplifying equations and things like that. I'm just going to go back to my pages tab and view all my pages. So this is something we're all comfortable looking at. Background. Pages. Let's go back to my pages. I want to insert some text onto the screen. I select the A, which is just at the top here. And as you can see, my tool selection changes. I've got a preview of that. So again, I can change the font color, the font uh, that I want to use. And this is just what's pre-installed on your laptop. We're not installing any specific fonts. And again, I can take all the colors out of the way if I want to use the set colors that we've already selected. And then you've got the same options, font size, and you've got the usual numbers that we like to see center, left, right, bold, etc. And obviously we've got our A1 to 3 uh, default fonts. So if I tap on the screen and we type a word in, we can see I've got a, a text box at this point. And the same process as before. So I can rotate that if I want to. Tap to get it back to zero. I can use the blue diamond to shrink the column width. I can shrink and enlarge that font if I want to. And this is where our default uh, fonts came into play. So if I now select on A1, it's gonna refer back to my, my settings options for A1, A2, A3 that we went through at the start. 